Bloody! 430! And it did it like nothing! What? 440! I did it! Charged 51 over here. I hope you're having a splendid day wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to Turbo Fox Races and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Guys, today we're doing something a bit different than the usual. And you're probably wondering, what are we gonna do? So for those of you guys that don't know, in Gran Turismo, obviously there's a lot of standard road cards in the game and most of them can be modified like crazy. So um, why not start with the most crazy road car in the game probably, the Bugatti Chiron. Now guys, unfortunately, the Bugatti Chiron in this game, we don't have the Bugatti Chiron, um, the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus, we just have the standard Chiron but this thing still stock standard makes 1,789 or 79 horsepower let's actually check it quick yeah 1,479 brake horsepower so that's very close to 1,500 horsepower but the thing is the the beast weighs an absolute ton now, the one thing that I that I unfortunately did, guys, I'm not going to show you guys the whole building process like I did with uh, my Need for Speed videos of the past. Um, the building of this game is a lot quicker, first of all, um, and secondly, um, I only thought this would make a good video after I built the car, um, but luckily... I have recorded my initial reaction. So this is the stock standard car. So for those of you guys that are wondering, so you've got two. Yes, I've got two. Um, as far as I'm concerned, as soon as I modify a car and it's not standard anymore, it's not original. And a big theme of Gran Turismo since the first games is you buy a car and you keep it in the collection as an original. And I kind of like that theme. So this is my original one. So uh, drum roll, please. <laughs> Here is my modified Bugatti Chiron. So as you guys can see, um, I don't know if you guys quickly checked the, the specs of the car to the left before it disappeared, but um, this is mine. And uh, long story short, yeah, it's not standard anymore. It's got some pretty, pretty gnarly upgrades. But I'm going to show you guys the upgrades. So you guys can see there's a little splitter on the front. I've got a, a fixed rear wing at the back. Because without those, um, she kind of struggles to stay on any sort of, uh, of the black stuff. She's kind of damn quick. So as you guys can see, she I, I love this color that I put on the car. And I actually dig the black bonnet. And as you guys can see, like, behind the doors, that little um, half, half moon shape that the car makes, that is also made black. The interior is still stock standard. But um, as you guys can see, we're sitting on 1,851 brake horsepower that's close to 1900 horsepower and compared to over 1800 kilos let's just make sure about the other car um yeah okay 1995 kilos so two tons the car now weighs just more than a gt3 race car it's 1376 kgs here's a gt3 car they weigh about 1200 kilos um here's another one um, the 1300 kilos so it's just below or just above an actual GT3 race car the only thing is it is almost it's got four times or three times the horsepower so let me run you guys through the upgrades on the car because this is kind of insane 
Um, I hope you guys like the look. Let me know what you think about the look in the comments down below. And while you're down there, drop a like on the video. It's highly appreciated. So here's the tuning shop. So stage one weight reduction. The car came out with sport hard tires. Now with the car with 1500 horsepower, that is already like, jeez, that's not a lot of grip. Then we upgraded weight two weight reduction. You guys can see all the the engine in um like in engine internals can't be upgraded on the car on this car. It's already a W16 engine. So I bought a fully customizable controller, so that a uh, computer, so that's basically like a racing ECU. I did not do the high RPM turbo kit, so you guys will see why now. And then stage three weight reduction. Then we did the racing intercooler, the racing silencer, the brake pads, along with some carbon ceramics. The car does have nitrous. Um, and then we have the fully customizable suspension, so I, I literally dropped the car as low as I could. Otherwise, yeah, the car tends to like wheelie at some stages uh, but that's also why the rear wing is there because the standard wing does not keep the car to the floor racing clutch for those quick shifts torque vectoring center differential so i can actually set how much power goes to the rear wheels and how much to the front wheels i'm currently running 60 percent of the power to the rear 40 percent to the front stage four weight reduction fully customizable transmission and obviously soft tire racing slicks otherwise you also still almost barely have grip I already showed you guys that then we did a carbon fiber prop shaft so stage 5 weight reduction and the ultra high rpm turbocharger so um she fast she fast so without further ado let me quickly run you guys through the the visual modifications of the car so obviously i told you guys the front splitter um and the rear wing um, and unfortunately, this car cannot be wide-bodied more than it already is. A lot of the supercars, you can actually wide-body a bit more. Um, so that kind of looks insane. Um, but this car is already a, a, a thick boy McGee. So um, here you guys can see actually no wide body, no engine swap. And I don't know why you would want to engine swap something that's already got a 16-cylinder engine. Um, and then uh, furthermore, then we head towards the car customization that's just the maintenance but usually i don't know why they put wide bodying a car at the maintenance doesn't really make sense to me but in any case oh i like this song in any case sorry i th i was just distracting myself while waiting for the screen to load so guys is this still done on a ps4 not a ps5 so excuse the long loading times luckily i can cut most of it when we get to actually showing you guys the car so guys i upgraded the rims to um so the standard rims look like that now i've got nothing against the standard rims of this car i just don't feel that they they completely suit the car there's nothing wrong with them so i put on these and i just blacked them out this i feel looks absolutely insane so as you guys can see they're just black then paint color the paint color that I went for, I'm going to show you guys in the livery editor because I can't remember the exact color of the car. But if you guys saw when I started the video, if you look close to the car, it's got like little, um, uh, little like, I don't know how to explain it because my Afrikaans is trying to kick it in. It looks a bit prettier, but it doesn't give as much horsepower as I need. And then the standard one is just the car without this. Caress the air towards the rear. And you guys can see it's high and I took type 25 end plates so it really looks still looks like a properly expensive hyper car and this is now i think a hyper hyper car i didn't do any racing items because i still wanted to keep the hyper car look um so no bonnet pins no tow hook um gt auto i did the lights though you guys know my super cool 9500 9500k i love these lights and at night time if a car comes from behind with these lights it is kind of blinding sometimes but it, it still looks the best and um, i'm not doing something stupid with a bugatti sure on like making the lights yellow and standard they're just not good the number plate, I just kept the Chiron number plate because this just doesn't work for me. The, sh the way that the Chiron is written and the, the text that's used, I absolutely love it. And then the caliper color, just to suit the black and the red. The red is not the same color as the actual body. So as you guys now can properly see the paint. So I just decided to go for black to suit the rims and the other black parts of the car. Now the black color on the car is actually a Ferrari black. Okay, so, so it is this color, sorry guys. It's the R1 large flakes that you can buy um in the paint shop and i still just think that this looks absolutely insane there we go now i figured out how to zoom in so you guys can see now like there's it on the door there's like pop proper flakes that's the word i was searching for earlier in the car's paint look at this on the rear bumper how cool this looks and then you're going to pass these massive quad exhausts 
on the Chiron, um, just below the Chiron number plate. And yeah, this honestly is an insane color. And then the other black colors, this is Ferrari Nero Dark R R Ronald is what I'm guessing how you pronounce it, but Nero Dark Ronald. So that's, the bonnet is that color, the rims are that color, this little U-shaped line. So let me just do this so I can show you guys the, the line. So you guys can see they're below the door sill. That and even here on the bumper in the front, there's a little black line that runs and then it goes right around the door. Um, and also on top, obviously, of the um, of the engine cover, that's carbon fiber, that's not black. And then the rear wing as well was made this exact Nero Dark Ronald black. So and I think these two colors really make the Chiron pop. Um, is uh, we're gonna test the straight line speed of this car with zero downforce. Special stage route X is the way we go, and for me to actually use the nitrous, we're going to do an arcade race. We'll the Super Sport 300 Plus from its quad turbo 8 liter W16 makes 1,600 horsepower and 1,600 newton meters of torque. So the horsepower and the torque is very much the same. So torque on this, I have no idea. But um, horsepower, we know we're at 1850, so we can take a minimum of 1850 newton meters. But the turbos, the four turbos, have been upgraded to ultra high RPM turbos. So if you want to look at it realistically, you're looking at over 2000 newton meters of torque. Now, let's get the settings of this car fixed. So, guys, this is how I drive the car. Um, how it currently runs. You guys can see my top speed is adjusted to 5. 100 kilometers an hour trust me it needs that nos boosting max on the nos and then now because we're going to do a top speed run you want as little downforce as possible so um we're gonna drop this all the way low and low so with the car's standard wing this is set to 100 so we've got 50 downforce points more on the car but um and it's definitely going to drop the pp off the car absolutely but now the top speed is kind of going to be insane i think but um we're going to hold back a bit because obviously this car is not standard and there's a few other chirons here as well and you guys can hear this car sounds mean we're just going to hold back 30 seconds because there is other chirons in this race now guys, I'm going to launch this car in third gear without NOS. Look at the wheel spin, 50-50 on the, on the wheels, look at this. It spins in third gear, you are correct. Let's see what happens, okay, okay, okay. We're already at 400 kilometers an hour and we, we only select seventh gear at 420 kilometers an hour. Beautiful car this. Let's quickly see here. Oh my goodness gracious me. 450. 460. 465. We're going to hit the uphill now so the car might slow down a bit. Guys, if all else fails, we remove the rear wing and see if we can get a higher top speed. 466. Come on. <clears throat> over the hill. Here we go. The car lifted over the hill there. Oh my word, I'm going to get out of the way of these guys. 475. <clears throat> 480. I think I've already beaten the actual Super, the, the Super Sport 300 plus the top speed. We'll check that now again. The rear wing is definitely holding us back. Let's go around the corner and see what we can do. We're already in P11. Oh my goodness gracious me. Is this car even going to be able to take the corner? It's still quite heavy, even though it's only 1300 kilo kilograms, but still. There's one of the Chirons, there's one of the Mercs. Porsche 918, she's very wobbly. Here's an Enzo. Taking a corner at over 470 kilometers an hour. And guys, this thing is so wonky through the corner. Thank goodness the corner is done. Let's see what you can do now. 480. 
We haven't touched the NOS yet. We haven't touched the NOS. 489. 490. 491. Can we brace that 500 kilometers an hour speedometer in the car to its max? 492. Come on, 493, 493. Let's do this, Chiron. What an absolutely incredible car! Already four kilometers down this big, the, the, the second straight, and we're catching up to the three leading Chirons faster than you can say if you get to Chiron. She's losing speed now, guys. So the best we got was 492. A high 492. 6,000. At seven and a half, I'm going to use my NOS. Let's see if we can get over 500 kilometers an hour in our Bugatti Chiron. Seven, one, two, three, four, five NOS. 497, 498, 499, 500, 501. We're over 500. Oh my soul. Four, 507, 508, 509. Can we get 509? Oh my goodness, we're not going to be able to use the NOS in the corner, I know that 509, can we do 510 before the corner? No, we cannot. Heading into the corner, these three Shiro's are battling. Oh my word, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. The car just went, guys, there's nothing I can do. The rear class just decided, nap. we're over it. We are over it. We're still out accelerating them at this top, it's at this top speed. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 and NOS. We're gonna come across the line at 495 kilometers an hour. Oh my goodness, I know I just hit one Chiron with another Chiron and that's probably a very expensive crash. But oh my goodness, guys, you guys think we should try without the rear wing? Without the fitted rear wing? Oh my word. That is absolutely insane. Let's compare this to the standard Chiron's top speed in the game. They're doing about 424, 426. Here's one for 430. And I only catch them close to the end. Let's see how high they go. But clearly these things are already stupid fast. 431, 432. Oh my word. That, that That's the car standard, guys. So that, this is the other one that I have. Wow. And they're just sitting side by side at this insane speed. So they're hanging about 430. And then you have me, 490. And mine just sounds so much better with the racing exhaust, like seriously. And there I just hit the NOS and it's just like, okay, we're going, we're really going. Imagine putting NOS on an actual Bugatti engine. I think it would break a lot of things. Oh my word. And obviously you guys are going to see the crash now again, but just, okay, here they're on 440 now. Wow, okay, they also made contact with one another, so now I don't feel so bad. You guys can see the car just went. There was nothing I could do about that. The second one is at... Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, while we're here, let's take the front split as well. Let's give this car as minimum downforce as we possibly can. The side one as well, we'll come put them back before we do the grip test. Rear wing standard. So that's how she looks stock with just custom rims, a custom paint job and a little bit lower than the standard car. Oh my word, this is going to be terrifying. This is going to be absolutely terrifying. Although I'm curious to see, can we hit 500 kilometers an hour without nitrous? Now that the car's got the minimum amount of downforce. So um, for this one, I'm going to keep the car in 50-50. But again, we're going to wait our 30 seconds. Oh my word, this car is so loose. Like just on the brakes there, it was kind of terrible.
still smokes the tires with like 100% four wheel drive. It feels like the gearing is even longer. Guys, she's definitely quicker. In a straight line, she's definitely, definitely quicker. Oh my goodness. I'm too scared to turn the wheel. Although we're going to have to get to this side of the road because otherwise we're going to hit the other cars. Over the hill. Please don't lift. Please don't lift. Please don't lift. She's still lifted. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 480 by her own. Standard car down course. You can't tune it, so you can't take it higher or lower or something. Oh my goodness. So she does about 480 on her own still. Let's look on the back straight. Oh my freaking googly moogly. the car doing you guys see this whole bouncing effect right that's just uncomfortable that just makes you feel like the car's going to be sent to narnia in any second now okay here we go this is now the moment of truth can we hit 500 without nos We still can't hit that magical 500. We're actually going a lower top speed with the less downforce. So the downforce might have like just refined the airflow of the car. So guys, this time I'm going to hit the NOS at 5,000. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's check the top end speed. We got 509, can we hit 510 kilometers an hour? Doesn't seem likely, no guys, the car's actually faster with top end speed with the extra um, uh, carbon fiber bits, the splitter, the side skirts and the rear wing. The highest we get is 507, but that is 508 but that is it, 508 is the highest we got, and we got 509. So this car is not capable of 510. That is sadness to me, personally. Okay, don't bounce, don't bounce, don't bounce, don't bounce. It's bouncing, it's bouncing, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna call it bouncing. Ah! Stop it! This car is more worth than my entire life right now, if it wasn't reality, but still, I don't think I'd do this to this extremely expensive car in reality but you never know maybe i'm crazy enough to do that i am crazy enough to do that but not the point oh that is horrifying let's hit the brakes so i can just show you guys the air brake there we go just so you guys can see the air brake on the rear wing but uh still that is utterly terrifying so guys, we're back with the splitter, side skirt, and wing fitted Bugatti. Now we're going to hit the max downforce. And um, guys, I'm just showing you guys this. But from this moment onwards, you guys are going to see my original reaction when I drove this car around a track for the first time with this exact setup. So enjoy. <laughs> for the first time, I'm driving this car. Basically 1850 horsepower. Yeesh. Ooh, she sounds good. She sounds like a proper V8 now. Listen to that! That sounds so good. Although, considering this thing's power, I'm gonna hold back for a while here. I'm gonna hold back for like two and a half minutes. See if I can catch them. Okay. First of all, let me quickly check this thing's indicators. How cool do they look? So let's put the hazards just on. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. 
Look at the mirrors! Look at the mirrors! Oh, that's so cool. And the rear. You can barely see the rear indicator. I think in real life it would be more prominent, but in any case. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And inside the car? Oh, just those little... Ha! <laughs> that's funny. Okie dokie. Car looks very pretty on the inside, though. Ugh, but I think this thing is gonna scare me like a like a freaking horror game. It spins! It spins! We're just gonna keep it in 60-40 for now. If I go round, I go round. Mm, little bit... There we go. I'm gonna launch it in third gear and see if this actually works. Without Nos, if this thing spins in third gear, I'm going... I'm going to cry. But in a good way. In a very good way. Let's see what happens. First time testing the Bugatti Chiron with 1800 horsepower. Bloody! Okay, okay, this is fast, this is fast, this is fast. That's almost 300 already! Ah! Okay, okay, oh, ooh, 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 okay. I get the point, I get the point, I get the point. Oh, okay, gee, thanks, game. Okay, third gear, second gear just spins. Okay, well, she corners. Bloody. Uh, stop, 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 okay. I'm gonna short shift the crud out of this car. Holy, I need to brake so soon. Okay, let's see what she does down the straight. It's max down for so I don't think we're hitting anything above 450. But um, let's let's find out and see. Bloody! 430! And it did it like nothing! What? 440. I said it's not, it's not even going to get to 450. I might have been very much mistaken. Very much mistaken. 450. And it's still going. 452. Yeah, my Lamborghini Aventador can eat dust. 452. Oh my word. Will it corner here? Oh, it actually does. It's a little bit jittery, but oh my word. Where do I hit the brakes? Where do I hit the brakes? I'm just going to hit them here on top of the hill. That was nearly perfect. Okay. Just look how the numbers just go. Look at that speedometer. That's a 500 kilometer an hour speedometer. And it runs like a car that's limited to 200. I'm gonna have to brake pretty soon. Yep. Yeah, taking a corner on throttle, not the easiest. Let's see what happens if I put it to 70, 30. Stop! Had to use the handbrake there. I'm going to go through the Porsche curves with 70% of almost 1900 horsepower going to the rear wheels. This is a death trap. Okay. And it's still understeers. It's actually behaving itself quite well. But it still understeers like a pig. And it feels worse than 4060. So I didn't go around. Oh boy, I need to slow down for that kink. Never had a car I needed to do that in. Sorry, 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 sorry. I caught a cut. Okay, let's try this again. Third gear. It just spins to 180 kilometers an hour. My car can barely do 180 kilometers an hour! Ooh. Bloody hell, this thing, it, it just goes. It doesn't stop. It kind of sounds a bit like a Koenig sake, to be honest with you guys. Okay, now let's try and focus and see if we can catch the cars and hunt.
that's P3. Now let's use the NOS on the straight after we get, we hit seventh gear. I make these cars look like they're like they're just plain ordinary day-to-day -day road cars. It's insane. Okay, seventh gear NOS. I am scared. I'm making a lap Ferrari look like it's standing still. Look at how the time's coming down in the top left corner. 470, 475, oh my word, if I take the downforce of this thing, we'll do 500 kilometers an hour, I'm certain of it. Sorry Ferrari, I'm leaving the NOS for the corner. Wow. The brakes on this thing are insane though. Look at the acceleration when you use knob as well. Bloody hell. My soul. I am flabbergasted by this thing's performance. Look, the other cars that I built was fast. But this is just... I want to say unrealistically fast. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I almost did a three, a sub three minute lap time around um, Le Mans. That absolutely baffles my brain. That absolutely baffles my brain. Welcome back my Turbonetics, I hope you guys enjoyed that first initial reaction to this insane Bugatti Chiron. So guys, while you guys are watching that, I was just quickly recording this little sunset lap time for you guys here at Le Mans. So you guys could see the car spitting a bit of the flame. <laughs> but guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this absolutely insane piece of machinery. Like, guys, this is a decent, the, the, the only decent lap I could get in. I think if I really put time into this, I can really, really set a proper lap time. But if you guys recall the, the, the initial reaction you guys just watched, I said that this car can do a sub three minute lap time around Old Le Mans. Well, this is one of them. So lo and behold, I'm going to keep the lap running and you guys can see I'm, as much as I trust my, 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 my skill and the car currently, I haven't built up more. This is the best I could do with my current situation with the car. But in any case, guys, what a video, what a car. Guys, if you, this game has got over 400 cars in it. If you guys have got any suggestions, hit me up in the comments down below what car you want to see me build and react to next. Um, there's so many cars in this game, and, I, and there's even engine swaps for certain cars. So if you choose a car with an engine swap, we might get a, a lucky experience. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, it's not just going to be weekly online races for this game. I've got so many ideas for this game. And you guys can see the flames there coming out of the back of the Chiron. I don't think we've ever seen a, a Chiron in real life shoot flame. Well, here's the first one, even though it's in a virtual world. It's still pretty darn incredible. Guys, I'm very curious to see how the Veyron stacks up against the Chiron. Um, I'm, I, I, eventually, I, when I get the Veyron, we're definitely oh, got an absolutely insane car. And I'm sure you guys can see there's some AP that I just don't hit at all because the car is just so powerful. I don't react quick enough in changing direction and, and all the things that, that go with, you know, being a, a, a racing driver. So this car honestly blew my mind and I think comparing this car to some race cars even, even on track because it handles fairly decent is going to be an interesting comparison. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanted to see that. While you're down there, hit the like if you haven't hit it, hit it yet. And if you are not yet subscribed and if this is your first time doing Turbo Fox races, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe down below and don't forget to ding that bell to never miss a future video here on Turbo Fox races. I'm sure you guys saw the two minute 59 lap time there. And this is where I decided let's do some donuts um, just to have some fun. Um, but guys, more than that, make sure to go check out the links in the description down below 
as well if you enjoyed this video share it with your friends um and uh, post, uh tag me in the post of the story and i will give you a shout out in a future video as well as on my social medias but guys that has been this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for staying till the end it is it's been a fun one and i'm sure you guys can agree with that also in the comments down below remember to let me know what you think of of my color and, and design choices for the chiron everything from the rims to the color you guys are absolutely amazing i love you guys and i will most certainly see you guys for whatever live stream video or short comes next as i just smoke away in the chiron and it's not a bugatti it's a bugatata 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 <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the bugatata i'll see you next time Cheers!